John Cooper Works. Three words that epitomized fun. Those three words on a mini hatch were amazing. The car was fantastic, it was so much fun. And now, Mini have taken the John Cooper Works treatment and given it to the Countryman, their biggest model. So what I thought I'd do, take the car out, let's have a look around some of the exterior features, interior, and just have a look at this car because it's very, very interesting. It shares a platform with the X2 M35i and the M135i xDrive. So this thing should be good. It is very good. But let's start by taking a look at the exterior. So let's begin at the front, where we always start. You can signify that this is the John Cooper Works by the red stripes over the top and the red lipstick, let's call it lipstick, around the front grille. You've also got John Cooper Works designation here. The front just looks a bit more aggressive. You've got the body styling down here, which just adds a bit more character to the car. You've got LED lights as standard, and you've got the LED daytime running lights, which run around, which give this car an awful lot of presence on the road. I think it looks great from the front, but what about the side? Well, it looks like a countryman, just with a few added bits of John Cooper works. You've got these absolutely stunning 19-inch alloy wheels, which obviously look a bit dirty today because it's, well, it's November. You've also got the John Cooper works red accents around the air breather here, red door mirrors, John Cooper works touch. We've also got the John Cooper works stripe on this one along the side, and this little badge down here. Any guesses what that means? All four. Yep, that is the four-wheel drive system, which we'll get onto when we take the car out for a spin. We've also got a red roof and roof rails on this one, which just, this is an all-uses vehicle. You can take this, put your bikes on the top, put a roof rack, take anything. You can actually also get a mini tent. You can actually get a tent. I'll put a picture over the top of this and bang, bang it on top of there. You could actually take this camping without needing to take a tent and pack it. It's all on top of there. And what more could you need than that? Round the rear, again, it's typical Countryman. This exact car as well has the black exterior line pack. So you get the black round the lights where they would normally be chrome and the black door handles, which just, I think, tie in beautifully to this exact spec. Black with red, proper John Cooper works. You've got a redesigned diffuser down here twin exhaust pipes, which, well, have a listen. Sounds good, doesn't it? I think it does. Let's have a look at boot space. There's actually a very, very generous amount of space. You've also got a bit extra underneath here for things, stuff. You can also drop the rear seats, which just adds an extra element of space. You can get more than enough in here for a weekend away. You could take the kids, take the dog, take the cat, take the fish, take whatever you want on holiday with you. There's plenty of space. And as I already mentioned, you can put the tent on the top. So it's a win-win situation. The Mini John Cooper Works Countryman is powered by a two litre four cylinder petrol engine, which produces 306 brake horsepower. All that power is put to the road by Mini's all four system. It's adaptive four wheel drive system. So the John Cooper Works Countryman has plenty of power, but does the interior feel special enough to warrant the John Cooper Works name? Well, yes, it does feel special inside. It does warrant that John Cooper Works name. Let's start with the layout. It's so simplistic, it really is. I love the way that you've got the red accent which runs all the way through the dash. You can trace it all the way along and then down in the center here. It's, it's beautiful. You've got plenty of different colors of ambient lighting to choose from in here as well. And it all sort of resonates around your display in the middle, which is a, if you've driven BMWs and so on in the past, you'll know this system. This is more or less BMW's iDrive system, which is one of the best in the business. You've got full DAB digital radio, full Bluetooth capabilities. This particular car also has Apple CarPlay and a wireless charging pad in the center. You've got cruise control, heated seats, dual zone climate control, a sports automatic gearbox, automatic handbrake, and I could keep going. Now this car has got a few little options on it too. So first things first, we've got the Harman and Kardon sound system, which is a fantastic sound system. It sounds amazing. You've got bespoke John Cooper Works dials with a sort of race flaggy kind of finish on the end. 
and then you've got these seats. These seats are beautiful. So they are half leather, kind of a little bit of fabric, and then Alcantara. I love a John Cooper work seat, and they, they are so supportive, really supportive. You've got more Alcantara along the door cards as well, which adds another edge of special. You've got the red stitching, which goes through those. And then this particular car has got a beauty, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful option, which is this. Alcantara performance steering wheel. Ooh, it just feels so lovely. We've got the little circle, red circle on the top of here, so you know when you've got it straight. Red stitching throughout, carbon down here, and then it's flat bottomed. Ooh, it's so lovely. I adore that. And I mean, this has got everything you'd ever need. You could just drive and drive and drive. This would soak up miles with ease. Now, Speaking of soaking up miles, all this car's doing is making me want to go for a drive. So, without further ado, let's start it up. A couple of nice little pops on the overrun there. And let's go and see how this thing drives. So has the John Cooper Works Countryman lost that John Cooper Works fun? No. Let's get that out of the way straight away. Nope, not even slightly. Well, first things first, let's start with just how quiet it is in here. This is the John Cooper Works, and I can actually whisper, and you can still hear me. It's amazing, it really, really is. The seating position in here as well is spot on. You sit actually quite high up, and you've got a really nice view over the bonnet. The visibility all around is great. You've got plenty, the, the nice wing mirrors here. You just have plenty of view all the way around. The infotainment systems are fantastic as we've already touched on. But let's talk about the John Cooper work side of this, shall we? You can drive this in comfort really, really easily and it'll just, yeah, soak up the miles, absolutely. But if we go down here, flick the car into sport mode, immediately it gets a bit more responsive. Flick the gearbox across. Yes, I tell you what, it doesn't half shift. 306 brake horsepower, it absolutely flies. And the steering feel is spot on. The gearbox as well. Listen to how fast these gear changes are, okay, ready? Ready, we're in third gear, listen to this. It's just so immediate. Immediacy is the word that I would best use to describe this thing. And I don't know whether it's me or this Alcantara steering wheel, but the steering responsiveness in this is superb. It doesn't feel big. When you're driving quite quickly, it doesn't feel like this is as big as it is. Because let's not forget, this is quite a high riding car. It, it is quite tall but it just doesn't feel it. It feels, oh, and that all four system. <laughs> okay, so I know that this four wheel drive system is relatively the same as the X drive system in BMW's X2 M35i and M135i X drive. And it's a front wheel drive biased system. So the majority of the power most of the time goes to those front wheels. It's only when you really start to push on that the car starts to differentiate the power. But it doesn't feel like it's front wheel drive bias. I think that's the most impressive thing. It just hunkers down, grips, and goes. I tell you, this is so much fun. Yeah, the down changes. Soundtrack is proper John Cooper works. Oh, there's a big crack on the exhaust as well. <laughs> I tell you what, this thing is brilliant. The suspension in sport as well isn't too hard, but it's just the right kind of damping that you'd want. It's hard enough to make it compose through corners, but not too hard that it's jangling yourself around all the time. You don't feel like you're that, it just, it feels so composed and I think the long wheelbase has actually helped this. The bigger wheelbase, it just feels much more planted and secure on the road and through country lanes. It's an absolute riot. 
The speed, yeah, 306 horsepower. Oh, it flies. It's so fast, this thing. It really, really is. I mean, what more can I tell you about it? It's fast, looks great, is very, very comfortable. The, the equipment in here is top notch. The gearbox is so responsive. I'm genuinely very, very, very impressed with this car. I wasn't too sure about it when they first announced that they were gonna do a John Cooper Works Countryman. But then when we learned that it'd share the same platform as the X2 M35i, and I drove that car, as you'll see on the channel earlier this year, if you wanted to see that video, click on the pop-out banner. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. And I'll finish by saying, Alcantara steering wheel. If you can have an Alcantara steering wheel, get it, because it's just brilliant. It just makes the experience feel so special. So what's my final verdict on the John Cooper Works Countryman? I think it's a great car. Handles beautifully well, is very, very fast, copious amounts of equipment, a beautifully put together interior. It's, it's a great all round package. Now, if you'd like any more information on the Mini John Cooper Works Countryman or a regular Countryman, do please contact your nearest Rybrook Mini retailer for any information or to arrange a test drive. As always, drop this video a like and subscribe to Rybrook TV for plenty more content just like this to come. <laughs>